categories. So in order to use these, I would have to drill them out at the very minimum. That's a major catastrophe right there. Yeah, we're going to try to do a disc brake conversion in these old drum brakes here. They are really huge drum brakes just for comparison. That's the drum inside of a 15 inch rim. Not a whole lot of extra room in there. But I have issues with these locking up on me and having all kinds of problems getting parts so i'm going to attempt to engineer a disc brake conversion on a 68 g10 or g20 i should say g10 kits exist g20 does not There's nothing for a six lug available so we're going to start by ripping all of this off of here and seeing what we can work with Ta-da! As you can see, it was 
this was a cork gasket behind here. Top half is stuck on the back of the back of the plate. of an over seal. Looks like I'm going to be doing kingpins. Okay, here's some of uh, the uh, M1D brackets. They're, uh, these are the ones that use the, the ADTA, M1D ADTA. So these are a good pair here that I bought. And if you look, you can see Everything lines up real nice. These are some rejects that he sent me. So says I can cut up or use his patterns or whatever just to kind of fool with, see about getting a bracket that works. And as you can see, these don't all quite line up. These are not usable. This one particularly has a bad tap. It's got little marks on every one of them for what's wrong. This one looks like it got multiple bends, bend radius. This one's cut out completely wrong, apparently. Bad tap. But these give me something I can use as a base to work from. Possibly use it, maybe adapt it to uh, the caliper that I'm using from a 2003 Silverado. But the thing about it, these are made for the G10 spindle, and the base is the same on the G20, even though the spindle, the bearings, and that are larger. This. Is this. Location on here. I should probably do this off camera and then make sure I got it right. But at any rate, I did have one bolted up there. I'll uh, take a little pause and do it again. So, as you can see, this is a bracket. I got it just kind of hung up here. I got a couple 3 8 bolts there just to hold it in place, but you can see that. Whole diameters are small, but they line up. I'm going to just use these 3 8 right now just for testing and seeing how well this is all going to work and figuring out what I can do from here. And uh, go back at it. Okay, one difference between the G10 spindle and the G20 that I just discovered is that even though the pattern is the same, the hole size is different. Now, here's the G10 bracket. You can see 465 is 716 bolt. This is a bolt that come out of the G20. 498, that's a half inch bolt. So while the pattern is the same, the bolts are larger. Cat agrees. So in order to use these, I would have to drill them out at the very minimum. That's a major cat's ass trophy right there. Okay, this is a caliper I'm going to be using. It's off of a 2003 Silverado, just like the rotors. It's a dual piston design. Off of a full-size truck, so it should offer adequate stopping for a full-size van. Foam was in here just to, for a spacer to facilitate uh, measuring for brackets. These come with their own mounting bracket that slides, so I only have to pick up this point here and this point here and everything else is factory as far as how it slides. So 
that's the plan. Now, over here, pay no attention to the crappy parts. These are used and are just basically for mocking this all up. Kind of just blew the hole out in the center. The center on the uh, Silverado rotors is smaller than the hub on the G20 van. And since the hub is a hollow cast and you can't machine it down, it would basically disappear. So you have to open up the hole. When I put the brakes on here for real, I'm going to be buying new rotors and having a machine shop open up that hole. It's got to be opened up roughly a half inch. And uh, But I'll give them the exact dimensions and they can go from there. I've got the M1D bracket mounted on the back. And it. this is what we got to see is do we clear all things I am thinking I may end up modifying brackets or making brackets that will put the rotor near the caliper to the front as that looks like it might be a little bit tight but I'm gonna see if I can throw the rotor on here on the front. Yeah, pull that bracket back off so that I can see how the clearance is to the rear. Okay, here's a little difference between G10 and G20. The brake kit that M1 Daddio sells on Vintage Chevy Van Club uses 80 Trans Am calipers and rotors. This is the 80 Trans Am caliper, and this is a 2003 Silverado caliper. And it's quite a bit meatier. The other thing is, Silverado rotor, Silverado rotor is a larger diameter. If I set this over here, drop it in. Try to put the pins through. We are going to find that we hit the rotor. So while the bracket will physically bolt to the spindle, the caliper is going to be a little bit small for the job on the G20, especially when using Silverado rotor. I was not able to find a rotor that was a 10 inch rotor. This is an 11 inch rotor, so that's why this doesn't fit. So what I will have to do is to take and right back here where the first bend is I'm going to just cut that right off and then I'm going to make a bracket that picks up these two mounting points here and here on the Silverado rotor to center that over the caliper. There'll be a little bit of shimming involved in that and once I get everything sorted out then I can kind of make something up that's uh, more of a direct bolt on but the goal here is to maybe use the basic uh, 80TA bracket minus the ears and then bolt on a 
half inch plate to uh, accept the caliper. Since everything is bolted in the same plane, there should be no issue with bolting a bracket to the uh, caliper bracket that uh, is on the spindle. Everything be grade 8 bolts and should work out just fine. So, we are, uh, we now have a game plan. Now it's just a matter of uh, starting measuring up and cutting some material and seeing if we can make this all work. Okay, back on the bench, uh, we've got this mocked up here, and I'm looking for a, see the distance between there, let's see, right about like so, I measured that up, and it comes up to 600 thou roughly, yeah, a little over half inch, almost five eighths. This will, uh, so that's how much I need to space it out. I need to make a bracket that will bolt here and bolt here on both sides. So I should be able to make something that will pick up this point, this point, here, and here. We were kind of a banana shape, moon shaped piece. And I should be able to bolt that all together, space it to get it centered. And looks like we can make a bracket. Well, that's about all there is for right now. I'll update as more progress occurs.